Now let us see what do you mean by tender wood. The first polling officer comes across with a serial number which is already marked in the marked copy which means another person has already voted in place of genuine elector who has now come to cast his vote. In this situation, the presiding officer makes summary inquiry and then issues a tender ballot paper to the elector to cast the vote. The first polling officer looks at his mark copy and identifies the elector with the identity card that is APIC. The first polling officer realizes that another person has already voted in place of the elector. Ma'am, someone has already casted his vote. What? The presiding officer then goes to the first polling officer and verifies the detail on the mark copy and the identity document. The presiding officer puts questions to the elector to verify his identity. 17A. And once the identity of the elector is established, the presiding officer allows the elector to cast the vote. The presiding officer handles the situation calmly and apologizes to the elector. So, uh, so somebody has already voted in your name. Um, I'm so sorry, it is our mistake. We will not defranchise you, you can vote. Uh, just as a formality, uh, do you have any other ID proof showing your uh, identity? Any other alternate document? Yes, I have my driving license. Thank you, sir. Where do you stay, sir? I stayed at uh, Manapanjim. Okay, thank you, sir. Do you know your BLO? Yes, I know my BLO. The name of my BLO is Mahesh Naik. Okay, sir. Uh, thank you so much for cooperating with us. Uh, as I have told you, we will not defranchise you, but uh, we will give you a tendered ballot and we will give you a cross arrow mark. Uh, we, you can vote through that. Please come, sir. So, this is your ballot paper, tender ballot paper. You can choose your candidate. You can vote using this cross arrow mark. Please fold this and get it to me. Before that, you will have to do the poll procedure. The presiding officer maintains the record of the said elector on Form 17B and takes the signature of the elector on 17B. So please sign on this. The presiding officer very submissively explained the procedure to cast a vote through the tender vote and gives him a tender ballot paper by putting the distinguishing mark on the back side of the ballot paper and by writing tender ballot paper on the back side of the tender ballot paper. and gives cross arrow mark and directs the elector to go to the second polling officer who puts the indelible ink on the left forefinger of the elector by requesting the elector to place the finger on the table. In case of tender ballot, the second polling officer does not write details of the elector on 17A register, does not take signature or thumb impression of the elector on 17A does not issue voter slip. The elector goes to the voting compartment, casts his vote and brings back the ballot paper and gives it to the presiding officer. The tender ballot vote is not cast on the EVM. The presiding officer takes the tender ballot paper and puts it in the envelope and then puts a seal to the envelope with the help of other polling team members. Thank you.
So your tender ballot is now sealed. Thank you.